Okay, next up, I want to move on to the automatic placement of your air and scar valves functionality in Civil Designer. So I'm just opening up my vertical alignment again. And we need to use the toolbar to run this automatic placement function, but firstly, let's have a look at the air valve sizing. So you got your permissible pressure during air intake and then during exhaust, uh, exhaust. You've got your overall maximum velocity that you can set, your maximum flow rate as well that you can set. And then you've got a selection of a two-stage, your small and large orifice um, valve or a three-stage. Okay, and then your ratio of large orifice to nominal diameter and then minimum nominal diameter setting. Okay. And then to actually run the function, you have to go to this toolbar on the left of the vertical alignment. It's this automatically arrange your air and scar valves. Okay, this dialog has got a warning that every time you run this function, then it'll replace the existing air and scar valves on that portion of the network. Okay, the air valve placement would be where required, and then placed on slopes with a change greater than 1% is the default. And then the maximum distance between your air valves is set to 500. Um, that sizing criteria would take us back to that previous dialog. And then your scar valve nominal size is set to the default of 80, which would be the red book value. So if I click OK now and run the function, then you'll see those air valves and scar valves have been positioned according to the design criteria. There are icons in the toolbar to allow you to add and remove your air and scar valves manually. Okay, so I'm going to remove one air valve manually. And then the alternative would be to remove some of your alignment points, those high points. So we've got insert, delete individual alignment points, but we've got this bulk delete alignment points. So you can smooth out a section of the pipe. Um, and from this point to that point, I'll run this smoothing. Okay, then we just have to re run the placement of the air and scar valves. So just rerun the function and you'll see that that air valve has been removed in that smooth section. Okay, so I'm just going to save and close the vertical alignment. And then let's go switch on those air and scar valves. The display settings, you need to check the box to show them. As you can see, we've got the text boxes for the air and scar valves. But I just want to go back to the display settings. Um, you can see you can set your symbol pen and size and then you've got a text box here, your ID, your type, a short type or your diameter size of your air and scar valves. Okay, what I'm noticing is there's an overlap between my pipe root change text. So there is a function to graphically adjust your air valve symbols and text position. So you select it and there is a default button to rotate through 180. Okay, so that sorted out the overlapping text. Okay, and then to end of today, I want to do a water long section plot. So plot generate using our standard water long section sheet file. Okay, and the benefit of the water routes would be now that you can also select which route, which of your defined routes you'd like to plot. We've got a, a section here for your air and scar valves that you'd like to display on the long section plot. Once again, you have those IDs, the types, and the diameter that you can insert as text. Okay, so it's your standard water long section detail that you would get. And then on the actual long section, you'd see your text for your air and your scar valves.